missing people in the last two months. Now, half a dozen dismembered bodies, their fingers conspicuously absent. No closer at solving the case. getting any sleep. Morning, Godfrey. Thanks. Janice. Is Stamp still in the tank? Still babbling away. Good morning, Vaughn. You gonna be around for this morning's briefing? I'll see where my case is at. They're mandatory. I'll see where my case is Try at. Try to make it. It's here. The white one's here. Hey, you still battling the four no. horsemen of the apocalypse? I'm not crazy. No, of course not. I'll put these damn pants on before I start thinking otherwise. Janice? Yes, sir. Any activity in the factory district? Sorry. I'm gonna step out real quick. Uh, Captain Bond is... I'll be back in a minute. Is that what I should tell him? Tell him whatever you like, because uh, I'll be back before it's an issue. Okay, sounds good. Lacey. Lacey! Mm. You wanted me to wake you when the guy with the ring showed up? Yeah. The guy with the ring showed up. <laughs> Tommy. 
Now it's time for your close-up, baby boy. Yeah. Yeah, don't move. Stay right there. Hi, Mom. <laughs> right? Uh, don't be so fucking serious. Come on. I need you to... Fuck, Tommy. Hey, hey. You pull the trigger or I do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you got this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Tommy, there's a lot of fucking stalling going on here. Hurry the fuck up! Yeah, I know, okay. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker! You motherfucker! Thank you. Thank you. You're a lucky son of a bitch, so I'm gonna let you get away with that. Yeah, we got a lot of people watching. Let's go. <laughs> That's a lot of money around his neck. All you gotta do is pull the trigger. <laughs> The odds are good. I know. You got no problem killing people. What's one lousy dog? Let go! You got this! I know! Go. Go, get out of here. You can't stay with me. Don't be rude. Uh, As you can see, occupied. Yeah, no, I know. Um, Tom's dead. Uh, huh. Okay, well, I mean, makes sense. 50 50 chance of that. Right? Yeah, yeah, no, no. I, but, but I mean, like, he, he didn't kill himself. Some lady just came in and just fucking, like, I don't know, just. I need, I need help. I need help. What did I just say? It's an art what you do. No, but seriously, boss, you gotta come see this. It's fucking nuts. 
I don't know, man. Maybe middle-aged, gruff. I, I don't know how to describe her, man. Maybe a bum? She doesn't rattle off anything in your head, not a client, not a product? Oh, no, no, no. She definitely had a look I'd remember. What's with all this headshot come out of here? T, I don't know what I saw anymore, homie. Whatever. We'll shoot her again. <laughs> Three Stooges Tom. Yeah, huh? it was fucked up. Hello, hello. Hello. That's kind of different. What? What? What's so different? Holy mother of fuck! Hey. Hey, you got out. What the hell? Jerry. 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 Yeah. What? Yeah? Get whatever's on this off this. Okay. Get it to me when you do. I want to see that video. Yeah. So, uh, a woman did this. Yeah? Jerry. You, uh, tell Meredith about this? Mm, mm, mm No. <sighs> Good lad. Don't. Okay. Right. Well, I'm back upstairs. All right. You, you don't want to stay? Clean it up! Man, what is she doing with the fingers? Is this like a message or something? Fucking clean it up, Jerry. Fucking disgusting. No sense in reporting this. Who'd believe me? Top off. That was tea. You read the specials? I just want oatmeal. I've got eight ounce chopsticks, mother and gravy, eight ninety nine. Half rack, baby back ribs, twelve ninety nine. It's good. No. Oatmeal. Will do.
your feet off my desk. I have got something here you've got to take a gander at. I'm fine. I trust your product desk. Well, I consider it an art. Mm -hmm. As long as there's a market for it. Seriously, look at this. Don't worry, it doesn't star me. Remember Tom? Yeah, did he bite it with your dog idea? Love it. Love your choice of words. No. He did manage to shoot a random lady in the face, only to have his eyes gouged out and eaten by said random lady. What are you talking about, Terrence? You sound ridiculous. Just here. Look. Jesus. Right? It's my eighth time viewing. But look here. The rest of the world is way past eight. So you don't have a name? Not yet. I put out some feelers. Okay, well, let me know when you get one. Well, I've been brewing ideas of what to do with her all day. Tom, is he disposed of a new lock put in? Yeah, taken care of. So what do you think? Like PCP? Well, PCP is not going to let you walk off a hole in the head. Oh, that's so interesting. Right? Three, four, five, six. Terrence, this can't happen. Right, I'll let you hang on. All right, anything else? Oh, yeah. Would it kill you to call mom every once in a while? Seriously? We're gonna go see her at the cabin this weekend. Yeah, but she's throwing you a guilt my way. Fine, I'll call her tonight. Not tonight, you'll wake her up. Fine, in the morning. Good, see that you do. Did you find the guy you were looking for? I made do. Yeah? Thanks, Lacey. You sleep, Lacey. You sleep tight. I'll keep an eye out for the guy with the rings. I got your back. Hey, buddy. You got a minute to talk? No, I, no hey, hey, sir, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're not in trouble. You're I, j I just <clears throat> wanted to... Christ, it's you. Leave me alone. Hey, you're, uh... Look, uh, I know that you don't want to talk, but... I don't. I know you know you don't, but... You know I don't... What is it? Money, food, a uh, place to live? Some more fingers, you fucking maniac. Uh, look, uh, I don't even know what that means, okay? I just want to talk. Yesterday, I watched you go into that building alone. You came out with a head wound. And now, you're looking fully healed. I mean, I can't do that. So I assumed you're the one that... Yeah, I killed that guy. Why? I wanted to eat him. What? Well, parts of him. Parts of him? <sighs> I gotta ask... Why the fingers? They're easier to carry, and I need the bone marrow. Bone marrow? Uh, I, I, I've had it roasted on toast. But that was from a cow. That's why I could use a fridge. For people? You two ready? 
Oatmeal. Oatmeal. <laughs> I thought you'd gravitate towards protein. I don't technically eat meat. Oh. <laughs> what can I get you? Oh, uh, yeah, whatever she's having. Yeah, oatmeal. Oatmeal's funny. Two oatmeal coming up. Look, I'm, I'm not going to dance around the subject here. You admitted murder to a cop. I want to know why you killed that guy. He wasn't my first choice. Who was your first choice? The man with rings. A big guy. Always dresses in black. He's got rings on all his fingers. Terence Reminder. You were gonna eat Terence Reminder? Why him? I saw him throw a plastic bag over a woman's head and drag her into a van. Plus, he has long femurs. Long femurs? <laughs> More um, marrow. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Is there a point to all this? I'm not going to arrest you, if that's what you mean. Um, I'm off the clock. There's not going to be any judgment, legal or moral. This is an ongoing investigation. And since we're both interested in the same party... Terrence. Maybe we can make a trade. Like what? How about we upgrade you to a fridge? Have you been awake the whole 24 hours yet? Dude, I can't get over this lady. I've been digging for dirt all day long. Nothing. <laughs> I despise it when you call me dude. Dude, it's a word I use when I'm jubilant. Jubilant? Enough of a fucking vocabulary for you. I prefer exuberant. Exuberant. <laughs> of course you do, cunt. Oh, that's nice. Classy. Hey, wait up. How's your Friday looking? Substantial. What happens if we cross-pollinate a bit? Invite my clientele if, and this is a massive if, we find her. What would be the benefit of that? Well, my people want product, your people have it. We exchange business cards. Why does Girl X even matter? Girl X? I like it. It's apt. Mm. Uh -huh. Well, she could be a special guest. Have her do a red room or participate in one. Maybe she's cool. If she's not, fuck it. We ship her off to whoever pays the most, huh? <laughs> There's little to no demand for middle-aged women. Oh, my dear sister, I get it. But she's a celebrity. She'll have appeal. Give me some time to think about it. Cool. How's your tooth? Killing me. But treating sugar and case in sugar. Well, my goal is implants, all of them. Well, I guess implants wouldn't get cavities. Exactly. You gonna be awakened after the shipment this morning? Of course. I, uh, I, I got this place before I was married. I, I considered moving in myself, you know, after my divorce, but it never happened. Um, I know it's a, it's, it's a dump, but uh, it's better than uh, the alley, huh? Jeez, I can't believe we've gotten this far without names. I'm, uh, I'm Godfrey. And, uh, and your name is... Lacey. Okay, Lacey. This is also for you. Uh, yeah, okay, look. When you open it, and I hope that's going to be soon, there's a couple of photographs in here. 
uh, one of them you know, Terence. The uh, second photo, uh, first name Paul, a known associate. I want him. Look, I don't know what's usually on your menu, but I want him gone. Do you understand what I'm offering you here? You want me to kill him? Yeah. Yeah, I want you to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to kill him. Can I eat him? Yeah, yeah, sure, you can. <laughs> you can eat him. Glasses. What? Reading glasses. Um, I don't know what the hell you. Not bad. I'm just heading out for the night. I don't know if Vaughn got a hold of you, but he wanted you to come in early tomorrow. You, uh, how are you? Janice. Yes, sir. Do you think it takes some time to realize you've done the worst thing in your life? Or should you have known immediately? You know, I think you just need some sleep. Hello. Godfrey? It's Lacey. <laughs> Lacey? How's it going? Uh, geez, it's late. OK. Paul's dead. Uh, Jesus, that was fast. Yeah. You, uh, you you took care of everything? Yeah. Any complications? Yeah. Well, no. There was a girl in his apartment. Uh, what did you do? Nothing. <laughs> what did she do? I mean, did she call the cops? Where is she? She's handcuffed to a bed. <laughs> yeah, you handcuffed her to a bed? No. That's how I found her. Paul and the other guy. There was another guy? Yeah. But he's also dead. <laughs> Look, <laughs> first of all, we can't leave a girl handcuffed to the bed, OK? Second of all, this is supposed to be an off-the-record endeavor. I mean, she's witness to a crime that wasn't supposed to exist, so we somehow got to get her on the same page. That doesn't sound possible. Well, look, we've got to cover our asses if we want to get away with this. You want me to uncover? Yeah, 
Uncuff her, stay with her, and, and get back to me. They're storage bins. They're in there. It's only ever men. Coke addicted men. Without a question, I can taste the difference. I'm also foggy in the morning. I don't know. I didn't ask her. You have options. Mm, Okie dokie. You can forget this ever happened and not tell anyone. It's kind of hard to forget. You can also call Detective Godfrey on this number. And what would that do? I didn't get that far. Wait, we're done? I am. Yeah, but you saved me. Oh, fuck. There you are. Where are your boys? Uh, I'm trying Jerry for like the 20th time, but he's not calling. You're useless. It's like a block away. Go over there. Okay. As you wish. Coffee? Wait, hot tea. Hot tea. Take a seat anywhere. You got it. So what are you? Like, are you just a jacked up lady blitz out of her mind? Or a government experiment on the lamb? Or please, please. robot? No. Zombie. No. Vampire? I'm not a vampire. You sound like a vampire. <sighs> Why do I have to be a thing? You drink blood, right? It sounds like you drink blood. I don't. Oh. Why aren't you somewhere else being traumatized? Well, for starters, that's old hat. And if you must know, I get taken advantage of most days. So to see a person, a woman, a woman like you twist those guys in half is, uh, I don't know. I don't know, but it's good. I eat people, it's not the same. Holy shit! Please keep your voice down. What do you expect me to do? You show up and straight up murk the dipshits who are gonna ship me off in a crate all the while I'm not even flinching during a Dip fucking ship in. Like, sorry if you spark some curiosity. Dipshit. <gasps> Coffee? Sure thing. Menus? I'm getting something. Yeah. How about you? Do you eat food? 
I don't like you. I'll be back in a minute. So, you're super. I wouldn't say I'm super. Oh, come on. If you're not, what's with the zipped up jacket? Show me your wounds. Wow. You heal fast. Yeah. Please stop that. Sorry. You just kind of shattered my world. Like, everything is different now. It's not. How is it not? You, you defy everything I know about anything. I don't. How? It's all the same. It never stops. Whoa. That is a depressing bumper sticker. I wouldn't worry, though. The end is nigh. It's not. You sure? Non-stop wars and crazy climate shit not an indicator? Every generation says that, but every generation is wrong. This conversation. Copy that. Sensitive issue. At least your scars heal, though. Do you find it helpful? The cutting? Yeah. Hell no. I mean, in the moment, maybe. There's not one I don't regret. They're not all me, though. About a third were me, the other third. I was paid to let some sadists get the rocks off. And the last third, just some run-of-the-mill assholes. I still have scars that will never heal. You do? Two. I forget they're there sometimes, but they're there. Did you get them before you 
changed or something? I never changed. They're just there. Huh. Really? So, we live around here? Please feel free to say no to this, but... Do I have a choice? Do you have a bathroom? Great, because I really wouldn't mind freshening up, and you could totally use a shower, too. <sighs> nice. Minimalist. But I'm gonna guess it wasn't my choice. Uh. Oh, is that the bathroom? You know, you can maybe use a friend. So, you want to watch a movie tonight? Okay, so, here's the thing. I'm really good at making breakfast. Your couch looks really comfortable. I mean, I'm a really good cook, and I'm actually, like, pro at making breakfast. So if you just let me stay the night, I can make you breakfast. Friends hang out sometimes. I need a friend, you need a friend. We need to be friends. Why don't we just hang out tonight? What are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? So, what are you doing tonight? You should go. Really? You're in good shape for a man your age. Yeah, a lot of good it did me. That's what you don't see. Resting heart rate, intestinal health, blood sugar. <laughs> Try to keep up with the fiber, do the occasional sit-up. That must help in your field. You're a homicide detective, right? Yes, I am. 
Charlie Godfrey. Yep. Do you know who I am? I've never seen you before in my life. Hmm. But you know who Terence is? By proxy. Hmm. And how's that, Detective? He's a potential suspect in a pending criminal investigation. A potential suspect. And what criminal offense would Terence be a potential suspect of that would justify surveillance? I have reason to believe he's part of a human trafficking ring. That's cute. What's cute about it? So it would be safe to assume that when my brother found you, you were acting of your own accord. Your brother? Yes, sir. Because from what I've seen, there's no record of interest of a Terrence Reminder in this district's police department, nor of a Paul Hoover, despite his history. So can you tell me what you were doing in his apartment without a warrant? What makes you think the department... As 34% of our annual revenue goes to law enforcement. Who did you say you were again? Meredith Reminder, and that should concern you. Why is that, Meredith? That someone such as me is being this lax with information to a police detective. I have no illusions about my safety. Smart. So then, is this about your daughter? What? Chelsea Godfrey. She went missing in 2000 with no trace. That's right. And so you thought us. We have a pretty substantial accounting of our records. I couldn't find her. All signs pointed to that she, I don't know, just fucked off because of troubles at home. Now, as for Terrence and I, we do work together. But the trafficking is more my side of the spectrum. He's in fetish and snuff. Now, as for your daughter, I'm sorry. I have nothing to offer you. First. There was a time I considered something like you. But for a few years now, I've known where my daughter Chelsea is. She's fine with her own family. It's only a sense of guilt and not knowing what to say to her that's keeping us apart. Second, do I really need a reason to want people like you dead? Well, that's not very nice. Third, why don't you go fuck yourself? Mm -hmm. Well, this has been interesting. That's my cue. I'm done. Hmm. Anything juicy? He eats fiber. Scandalous. Good luck. I'll be in my office. You're going to tell me everything I need to know about her. Looks like it's just you and me now. You want to go first? Don't mind if I do.
Yo, Lacey. I hear you've been looking for me. Well, I've been looking for you, too. Here we go. Hello, pretty lady. Oh, you can take a hit. Again, dipshit! Say what now? Again! Hit me again. Okay. Sure. Oh, shit! Oh. Are you Trevor? Turns. Is this a part of a kidnapping or something? That's the idea, yeah. Why don't I just go with you? Can I take another swing? My retina got detached. So, you know, if you hit me again, then my eye, I'll lose it, and eyes take a while to grow back. Wait, what? I just want to avoid that. All right, well, I'm parked right here. What the fuck was that? Dude, that was fucking insane. <laughs> oh, fuck. Three, two, one, uh, shuffle! What does she eat? Oh my god! Wait, 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 put her down. You little bee. Up. Uh, Lift with your legs. Lift with your legs. Uh, okay. Wait, let me get that door. Uh, hello. Hello, ma'am. How can I help you? Uh, I'm looking for a Detective Godfrey. Uh, Godfrey's not in the department at the moment. Is it an emergency? Kind of, yeah. But, uh, this is more of a Godfrey thing. Okay, uh, do you want to leave a statement and I could forward it to his office? Do you know where he is or how I can contact him? I've tried both of his numbers and I'm not getting anything. Well, if you can't reach him, then... Why is Detective Godfrey so pertinent to your statement, miss? Um, he helped me out with something and I want to thank him. Detective Godfrey is no longer affiliated with this department. His services are in the process of termination. If you want to contact him, it'll be best for you to pursue him personally. So, if you don't have an emergency, I'd like to ask you to please exit the premises. Wait, do you know how I can contact him personally? Not my responsibility, miss. Why are you looking for him? I'm not actually sure. I'm gonna need more than that. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I just know he's important. Okay, do you see that hallway behind me? Yeah. Get to the last door on the left, go in that office, close the door behind you, and I'll meet you there shortly. Like now. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Hey, first things first, I can't get a hold of Godfrey either. I haven't seen him since last night. No one here seems to care. Okay, scary. Okay, I just need you to be candid with me. Why are you looking for him? Uh... Look, I just want to make sure he's okay. I hope he's better off than who I'm looking for. That's different. I know, right? <laughs> so this is it. Mm. And 
you're telling me that its head was not in this shape when you rented it? You can see brains. How is that even possible? Either way, I keep my distance. Ah! <laughs> Wow, charming. So what do you think? I think it's an absurd amount of restraint. Well, I'm sure Paul thought the lock on his door was enough, too, but now his head's facing the other way. Guess how much she weighs? I'd say somewhere between 132 and 135. Close. 247 on the dot. Makes no sense, Terrence. I swear to God. Imagine our surprise when we were trying to hoist her into the van. She's one dense little bird. So you want a red for it? For reals? How are you going to transport it? Well, she's going to need to be unconscious and secured. I will need someone to help carry her, though. Right? Fine. We'll do a live one at tonight's reception. If it goes well, then I'll auction it off. Thank you. Do it soon. What was that, Lacey? Leave me here. Why would we do that? I lose it. Lose what? Seriously, what you got? Your mind, your edge, your bowels? Hmm? What is it? Hmm? Hey. <sighs> and back to test pattern. It's fine. I'll start making calls. Terrence? <clears throat> You make sure you don't overindulge, okay? Take a nap. You look like shit. Speaking of bowels and shit, Lacey, what's gonna be in yours with your diet, hmm? Your teeth. <laughs> Good. The fucking thing is killing me. Yep, that's him. You're sure? Well, he never stood like that for me, but yeah. Looks like him. Detective Godfrey's been staking him out in the factory district. Brought him in a few years back on a human trafficking link, but nothing ever came of it. I can guarantee you this dude's into that. How? That guy. I uh, used to do some work for him, and he dabbled into shit like that. What kind of work? Ah. Uh... OK. But if something were to come of this, would you be willing to testify? Yeah, no, not at all. Why not? Because I know where this guy is right now, and I know people like me talking to people like you end up where this guy is. Yeah. Well, where are you going? I don't know. But thank you. This was enlightening. Got your card. Keep catching you staring off into the distance. What are you looking at? Every once in a while, I can see someone that no one else can see. Were they talking to you? They don't say anything. Hmm. Uh, that sounds like schizophrenia to me. Hmm?
That ain't yours. Huh? That ain't your stuff. I know, because I'm watching it. OK. But who's, whose is it? It ain't yours. Yeah, I got that. That's Lacey's. That's Lacey's face. She's a real scary person, that Lacey. Her name is Lacey? Hey, you need some help with that? Here. If she came back and saw you rooting through her stuff, it wouldn't be good for you. She went in there? Yeah. She went in there earlier today with the guy with the rings. In there? Yep. Hey! Thanks! <laughs> Be careful. Name. Five seconds. Um, I'm I'm here to see a Paul Hoover. That's not your name. I'm Susie Rathblatt. I'm here. I'm supposed to meet a Paul Hoover and a Jerry. I don't know his last name. Jerry. Shit. And uh, Terrence. Terrence from Remender. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I thought I recognized you. Get in here. Thank you. I guess you're gonna wanna, you know, pat me down a bit. Don't worry. Don't make it weird for you. Sure. Keys? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen your work. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but this. Asphyxiation stuff, you know, just really does it for me. You're some kind of good actor, because it looks painful. What can I say? I'm a pro, right? OK. Down the hall, first door on your left. Thanks. Perception's about to start, so bring the hand around.
Excuse me. <clears throat> She's ready to be transported. Let the games begin. Smells like bacon in there. Fucking pig. Godfrey? What? Hey! Hey! Do I know you? Fuck, yes. Okay, I'm a friend of Lacey's. You're gonna need more details than that. Hey, listen to me. Lacey is in the next room getting fucked up by Terrence. Who are you? I have this key thing, and I, and I think I can get you out of here, but fuck, I can't. Uh, yeah, Janice, you know Janice, the nice lady you worked with? She helped me find you. Janice? Janice from the department? Yeah, and you're also fired. Shit. Yeah, I know, but let's just focus on living. Fuck yes, partial freedom. Okay, we gotta get out of here. What's your name? Susie. I'm Godfrey. Okay. people when they're working. Yeah. <laughs> Ah! 
You've been such a loyal customer to us that when I bring it in, I'm gonna give you a nice spot right up at the front. No drinking? You take care of yourself. It's a damn shame. I think these are mine. You're following me? Could I ask you the same thing? You look... Forced retirement's been good to me. It's time for me to travel. 
visit my daughter. You? What are you doing for sustenance these days? I'm stopped for the time being. See what a fridge will get you? Be snatching people off the streets. You sure burn through my list. Burn through my list. My heart bleeds, Godfrey. Charlie. My friends call me Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. My real name is Lilith. See you around, Lilith. I don't know what you want with me. I don't even know if you exist. But I can't waste time trying to guess. It's not the endless life or the need to devour it. It's what I do to life. I kill it. Ahoy there. You do all these? Who are you? How'd you get in here? Stay right where you are. Don't move. You and I need to have a little chat. I'm made to destroy it. That's why I can't have one of my own. Will you fill for your coffee? No, thanks. Okay. Um, so what are you going to do? Huh. The apocalypse is coming. And I need your help to find someone. I'm sorry for what I did so long ago. I had a child once. A son. I'd like to miss him. But I can't picture his face. So I'm curious. When will you be done with me? Come on. No, 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 no. Shit. Food, you want food? Hmm? Come. Let's see what I have.
Yeah.